as the custodian, essentially, of global energy markets, Saudi Arabia has a very important role to play in these conversations. Joe Biden didn't seem to want to come here. Do you think that energy was the reason that this visit took place? Or is it something beyond that? I'm not a mind reader, so I, I would take issue with the point about Joe Biden does not, didn't want to come here. It so took I, him long I don't enough. Know. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, From pariah really, to partner in less than two years. What people say uh, during election campaigns is different from what happens when people are governing. We saw a similar situation with President Trump where he said certain things about Saudi Arabia, but then we had a great relationship with him. Um, Saudi Arabia is bipartisan. We have had great relationships with every American president since uh, King Abdelaziz met with Franklin Roosevelt, whether that president was Democratic or Republican. Um, we deal with the United States of America. Every American president is a friend of Saudi Arabia and is welcome to be in Saudi Arabia. We have interests that are very broad. They have to do with energy. They have to do with uh, renewable energy. They have to do with combating climate change. They have to do with uh, food security. They have to do with stabilizing financial markets. They have to do with uh, enhancing our military and security relationship with counterterrorism, with cybersecurity. They have to do with dealing with challenges in our region, whether it's Iran, whether it's supporting Iraq, whether it's Syria, whether it's peace process, whether it's the Horn of Africa. You said Yemen. hysteria in politics I won't mean, be something that plays into your decisions on oil prices. When you say correct. that, um, does that mean, in your view, that we could potentially see Saudi Arabia um, stepping back from new partners like Russia and China? Because that's exactly what Joe Biden said in his comments just a few moments ago. He essentially said that the United States has made a mistake stepping away from this part of the world and that we're not going to allow, he said, Russia and China to fill that vacuum. But China already is your largest foreign direct investor. And you work really hard to get that relationship yeah. with Russia. We, are you going to step back from those we relationships? Are, our, our policy is to build bridges to countries. And we want to be able to deal with everybody, and we want to be able to uh, engage with everybody. And this is what we have done. China is our largest trading partner. It's a huge market for energy and a huge uh, market in the future. And uh, China is a big investor in Saudi Arabia. The United States is, of course, our number one partner when it comes to security and political coordination, as well as investments and trade between the two countries. And so we built bridges with people. We don't see one as exclusive of the other. With the United States, we share a history and we share uh, contemporary issues that I just mentioned. Um, the challenges in our region, whether it's Iran, Yemen, Ira uh, supporting Iraq, in Syria, Lebanon, peace process, Horn of Africa, G5 countries of the Sahel, stabilizing Libya, Afghanistan, those are areas that are very important to, for us to deal with the U.S., whether we get to other issues such as piracy, yeah. energy, financial markets. Our relationship with the U.S. in, in dealing with these issues is critical so and not for the exclusive. mutual benefit um, of, our, of the two countries. And so that relationship is very solid and very strong. Um, and we believe that the last 80 years it has provided tremendous benefits to both countries, and we look forward to building um, for the next 80 years.